Hey everybody, so this is going to be my last video in my old room before I move to my new house. Sad, I know, right? So many memories. And this whole week has been crazy. I've been trying to do research for the next countries and I've been packing and I've been doing paperwork. But I still wanted to give you a video this week. I had to come up with a topic and I figured, why don't I just do a video with you guys included? I like putting you guys in the spotlight. So I decided to ask you guys on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook a question. When you travel abroad, how can you spot and distinguish someone from your country like what are some mannerisms or customs or like dead giveaway traits so I saved some of your answers and here they are Argentina Grimwald says it's not too hard for Argentinians if they say che as a word or if they pronounce pollo with an sh instead of a y so it sounds like pocho yeah I heard that Argentinians they go sh a lot for Armenia nose and eyebrows Armenia <laughs> yeah sometimes you guys can tell just by looking right for Belgium Belgians abroad are recognizable because of their pale legs sensible clothing and because they wear socks and sandals that seems to pertain to a lot of countries especially in Europe I don't know are you from one of those socks and sandals countries we got some Brazilians Felipe says you can tell if someone's Brazilian if they speak more slowly Brazilians will also walk slower while paying more attention to the other side of the street than where they are walking we party for no reason <laughs> now I got a lot of Canadians that pretty much said the same thing you know they're always saying sorry they apologize for everything I don't know though for me when I meet a Canadian they're very similar to Americans with a few small subtle nuances. First of all, they don't pronounce their OUs like OO, it's O, like oat. So it's like, what is that about? Let's buy a house. So get, get it right, people. They're very PG-13. Like, they'll dabble a little bit with controversy, but then they'll step back when they know it's a little too much. But it's like, come on, Canada. We know you're kind of safe up there. Although crime has kind of gone up a little bit in recent years, but eh, yeah. Anyway, moving on. Chile. Chileans are mostly known for their choice of words like po, wean, wea, and copete. And they are loud. I don't know if any of these are swear words. They could be. If they are, then, uh, sorry. Colombia. If a person throws a party for any reason, asks for a discount, buying anything, claps when the plane lands, drinks chocolate, adding a bit of cheese inside it to melt, they are Colombian. Hot chocolate with cheese in it? D do you Colombians do that? Wow, okay. Czechia, the Czech Republic, whatever you want to call it. Well, you can usually only find them in Croatia as it is the most popular place to go. Sometimes they wear socks and sandals. Another one. And they do not wait money they will bring their own schnitzel to eat <laughs> also they love beer Denmark they will wear black and gray even if it's summer usually they are quite tall and they aren't that loud or outgoing if a dame meets someone they know on the street but not a close friend they'll ask you how are you the right answer should be I'm good fine not so bad don't ever tell them how you really feel because they don't really want to know Dominican Republic if they are talking fast and loud in Spanish definitely Dominican if just fast in Spanish they're Chilean <laughs> Netherlands Dutch people will most likely be tall and have an accent with lots of cracking voices with the letter G or yeah that's right by the way guys it's how the cheese not Gouda El Salvador if you randomly say mahe and someone turns their head yeah that's a Salvadoran Ethiopia they have dark skin but Caucasian features they are either Orthodox Christian Sunni Muslim or Jewish they have a Semitic accent for they eat injera yeah the injera is a dead giveaway Estonia slash Finland Jens says if he avoids eye contact he is Estonian or Finnish Georgia Georgia Georgians just sense when there's another Georgian in their presence. I was in Switzerland one time minding my own business and one woman just started speaking to me in Georgian. It would have been mega awkward if I wasn't Georgian, but luckily I am. Germany. Germans are the only ones stopping at red lights. If they have a backpack from Duder, it's 99% secure that they are German. Only once in Thailand I met a non-German with that brand. They were from Austria, but they used to live in Germany. India. Head wobbling is uniquely Indian. I've heard of that, the Indian head nod, the, the side wobble thing. Indonesia. If I'm abroad, I'll know someone is Indonesian by selfies because Indonesians love to take selfies everywhere. <laughs> Ireland. When the Irish are on a beach abroad, they use shopping bags to carry their stuff and they're definitely the whitest on the beach. <laughs> Japan. If they have a slight beard, some space between the eyes, a slightly rounded chin, and maybe even a fancy cap, that's obviously a Japanese man. Never thought of it that way. Kuwait. Kuwaiti if he says hala wala. Hmm. Lithuania. If they are complaining, depressed, and have a weird accent with strong R's, they have a 90% chance of being Lithuanian. Malaysia. Being a Malaysian Muslim, I normally can tell by their hijab style. When I see a Malaysian hijabi, I'll just know at a glance. Yeah, you'll notice that a lot in Muslim nations. The men and women have a different way of wearing clothing, and especially when it comes to the women with their head coverings. Malta. Malta, if you hear them go Mela and 
Uoalt. Don't even know what that means, but okay. Mexican American. If they say way, explain directions using miles and start speaking Spanglish, then I'll know that they are Mexican American. Yeah, the imperial system kind of gives it away. Mexican Mexican. It's easy, especially for the younger generation. Their lingo accent in Spanish, phrases like way and osea. Just look at each other and do the Mexican head nod and say, orale paisa. Morocco. Moroccan people love using hand gestures and bugging their eyes out at you when they're angry with you. But if they're nice, they will meet you and they'll say hello a million times and shake your hands. If you're Moroccan, you say salam ya hmar. New Zealand. You have to walk around saying kiora until someone goes, hey, cuz. <laughs> I did get a few kioras when I was in New Zealand. Easiest way to tell if someone is from New Zealand is if they're wearing punamu. Also, if you hear them speaking Maori, a Kiwi could recognize a dialect from anywhere. Yeah, you Kiwis pronounce your E's a little strange. When I was in New Zealand, I remember someone said, you're gonna pit a sheep. And I'm like, what? You're gonna pit a sheep? Pet? Oh, you're gonna pet a, at a sheep. Yeah, right there, on the dick. Norway. Norwegians are blonde and in families of four 99% of the time. Yeah, I've met quite a few Norwegians. They always only have like two kids. That's so interesting. Norwegians are always amazed by low prices. I'm not surprised. <laughs> Everything in Norway is pretty expensive. Palestine. They're Palestinian when no matter how messy the house gets, the guest room has to remain in pristine condition. I don't know, if you're a Palestinian, what do you think of that? Panama. You can tell someone is canalero, Panamanian, if they say quechopa. Wearing a sombrero pintado is also another sign. Or if they sing old school Hispanic reggae. Also, if they do the typical saloma is like the national screaming sound in the countryside. Okay, th that's cool. Those are like dead giveaways. Peru. Peruvian, if they are horrible drivers, look Hispanic. If when they ask for a check, they raise their hand and pretend to sign the check or bill. And if they complain that Mexican ceviche sucks. Yeah, don't even get Peruvian started on ceviche. Philippines. If they point with their nose, they are definitely a Filipino. Hmm. If you say oi and pst. when they look back they are definitely filipino if you say oi or pst, they are definitely fi a lot of you guys are saying that how do you how do you point with your nose or lips like portugal i can tell someone is from portugal if they are surprised or grossed out they don't use ew they say ui Russia. Somehow, if one Russian sees another, we just know. It's something about our facial features, I guess. Doesn't work 100%, but at least 90% of the time it does. Saudi Arabia. Lol. I can tell if they are Saudi just by smelling if they smell like cologne or if they are wearing jibalaya. You know, it's funny. When I was in Saudi Arabia, everything smelled like cardamom. They put so much cardamom in everything, even in their coffee. Every time I smell cardamom, it just makes me remember Saudi Arabia. Singapore. Singlish. Also, if someone says la at the end of their sentence, they're probably Singaporean. Yep, yep. I saw that a lot when I was in Singapore. Remember my buddy Ben from Singapore? He said that. South Africa and Zimbabwe. South Africans say ya yeah, hey a lot. They also end sentences with hey. Zimbabweans often use a lot of onomatopoeia. E, ish, sha, a, a. It's hard to explain. Only Zimbabweans know how to spot it. Okay. Sudan. Well, in Sudan, when we're saying hello, we always start with an ooh and tap the shoulder before shaking hands. Switzerland. Si quelqu'un est Suisse, demandez à lui comment dit on cet numéro et montre un photo de la numéro 70, 80 ou 90. Et si elle dit 70, 80 ou 90, il est suisse ou volant peut-être. Oh, je sais ça, actually. Uh, je pense qu'on fait comme ça. Ce système est beaucoup mieux parce qu'il est plus facile. 70, 80, 90 uh, au lieu de. What is it? What is it? Uh, uh, 70, 80, 90. Pourquoi ça? The Belgians and Swiss, uh, you, you guys, I, I love how you do things. Anyway, moving on. Turkey. I can tell if someone is Turkish if he, she cuts a slice of cake by fork, not knife. I don't know about that, but when I was in Turkey, all I know is, oh my gosh, the food was so good. Have any of you guys seen that guy on Instagram, CZN Barak? His whole Instagram is just like him making massive amounts of Turkish food. Oh my gosh, I love watching his Instagram. It's just like, ah. The UK, instantaneously, language and accent, reinforcement, certain idioms such as mate and Wanna go for a cuppa? I mean, obviously there's lots of different types of accents in the UK. You know, I'm not so good with all of them. You know, I know for sure, like in London, they hit their teas a little harder, you know, like the kettle in Seattle. And of course, you know, in Scotland, there's a lot of different types of Scottish ones, but you know, there's the one that, where they really roll the R's. I can't do a Welsh accent, but uh, all I know is, now, for me personally, you know that I'm American, but I'm also half Korean. Uh, how would I be able to tell if someone was from America? Usually Americans wear like branded or logo t-shirts, many times often with like ironic sayings or jokes or catchphrases. Oh, and we wear sunglasses a lot. Now Americans are trying like way too hard to prove that they are cultured and immersive. You know, they'll go to Thailand and they'll be like, oh, 
Cap Coom Cap. Horrible pronunciation, but the locals are like, eh, at least they try. Which, uh, by the way, international polls have shown that Americans are not the most annoying tourists now. It's uh, Chinese and Russians. <laughs> no shade, I'm just saying, those are what the polls say. How can I tell if someone is Korean? Well, I can definitely tell if it's a harmony, an older lady. They always have the visors and like a floral blouse and like the poofy pants. I'm not even joking, like every Korean woman over the age of like 42 has the same haircut. We call it the Ajuma haircut. It's like short in the back, but like long in the front. And they always have like hiking poles. I don't know why. Like even when they're walking in the city, they have hiking poles. I don't get it. Koreans are weird. Anyway, yeah, that's just my take on Koreans and Americans. Yeah, no, I just kind of want to pass off the question to you. How can you tell if someone is from your country or someone of your nationality when you're traveling abroad? Like, do you have that, like, like nationalistic radar? Like, you can just tell if you look at them. Yeah, type it in the comments, and uh, yeah, I would love to hear from you guys. All right, hope you have a good one. Stay cool, stay tuned. See you in my new house.